Anyone starting to get a little stir crazy? Because going out to get groceries has become my one big social event of the week. Social distancing and pandemic life is probably gonna go on for a while. It could be for months, and I know some of us are a little frustrated and feel restless, but based on the conversations that I've been having, I can see that it's also opening up a lot of new possibilities. As the saying goes, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Hopefully you're taking advantage of this time to pursue projects that you never used to have the time for, do things like catch up with family, and of course, make some extra money. In this video, I'm gonna share with you six interesting ways to earn money while you're stuck at home. And the best part, you can do all of these things while sitting in bed wearing your PJs. Also, all of these tips, except for one of them, are ways that I've actually made money with myself so this is all stuff you'll actually be able to do as well. There's no vague, fluffy, unrealistic BS advice in this video. All right, so let's get right into it. My first tip for you is to sell your old smartphone. I know everybody has at least one old phone sitting in a drawer somewhere, and maybe you weren't sure what to do with it because you, know, you don't want to throw it out, but you don't really know where to sell it either. Well, guess what? There is a way to turn your old phone into instant cash. There are a ton of companies online that buy used phones, even if it's in bad condition and even if it's broken. I found a website called itsworthmore.com and after looking around, I got really excited because it says that they'll give me $40 for my old Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. That's money. But if your phone is cracked or it's not functional, you probably won't get much for it, if anything at all. However, if it looks decent and functions normally, then hey, $40 is still something. The company takes you through a brief questionnaire about your phone, what model it is, how much storage it has, what kind of scratches and dents it has, etc. And then they give you a quote. Then after you get your quote and you're okay with it, they'll send you a prepaid shipping label, which you can just print out, drop into a FedEx or a UPS, and send it on your way. Then when they get the package, they'll issue payment to you within 72 hours and up to five business days. Not bad, right? You can also use a website called sellsell.com. It's like a comparison shopping website where you just punch in basic information about your phone and then they'll show you quotes from a bunch of different secondhand phone buyers so that you can get the most amount of cash for your old phone as possible. And it's not just smartphones. There are a ton of places online to sell some of your other stuff. Obviously the challenge is finding out where to sell it and making sure it's not a waste of your time. The trick is to find out which online platform is best for selling a certain type of item. Then from there, all you really have to do is just take good photos and post your item. If you have clothes, shoes, bags, and fashion items, Poshmark is the best place to sell those. I've sold and bought a few things on there, and it's probably the best secondhand fashion shopping app that is out there. I know you have stuff in your closet that you've only worn once or maybe even never, so sell it. People actually make a living selling old stuff. I have a friend who did this as her full-time source of income. She would go to Goodwill and get piles of clothes for almost nothing and then resell it on Poshmark, and she was really good at it. For other random knickknacks you have around the house, you can also try Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. And if you don't even want to do that, you can just post your item on your personal social media page. It's a way to declutter while also making some instant cash. My next tip is to try options trading. Okay, so there's a little more of a learning curve to this and it's not for everybody. However, options trading is seriously my favorite side hustle. If I just place one or two trades a week, I can bring in a couple hundred a month. Last week, I actually made $90 from one trade. The secret to making a reliable income trading options is to sell options, not buy options. Most people who try to trade options, they'll buy options in the hope of selling it for a higher price and making a profit, kind of like day trading. I don't like doing that because you see, this is how it works. Options are like insurance. And as you know, people who buy insurance are the ones who are paying money. It's the insurance companies that are making the money. The average person buys a lot of insurance, health insurance, car insurance, life insurance. We all pay a lot of money to have insurance. However, the insurance companies that are selling it to us, they have the game all figured out. It's just a game of statistics, numbers, and probabilities. So they collect premiums from a lot of different people. And even though some of those people will make an insurance claim at some point when something bad happens, but statistically, it always still works out in the insurance company's favor. That's why they're in business. 
Selling insurance is a profitable business. So while we're not gonna get into the specifics of how stock options work here, because they are complicated financial contracts, when you're buying options, you don't really have an edge because you're basically buying insurance. But if you know how to sell options, you have the edge because you're the insurance company. Now, of course, any kind of financial trading has risk associated with it, and I have lost money on trades as well. So it's, it's not just free money. Also, options take a while to learn and master. So even though you won't start making money overnight with this, once you learn how to do it, it is a great way to generate a little extra cash whenever you need it. I'm planning to start talking more about options trading on my channel later this year. So if you haven't already, definitely join the tribe and subscribe to the channel. I post other great videos about all things money and investing every single week and I'd love to have you join. Next up, this one is something you can start making money with today. And that is by selling services on Upwork or Fiverr. Upwork and Fiverr are online freelancing marketplaces where you can offer your services to potential employers all over the world on a freelance basis. People go on Upwork all the time looking to hire someone to help with everything from graphic design, language translation, video editing, making Excel spreadsheets, virtual assistant work, literally anything you can think of. Job postings get quite granular, so the more specialized you are, the better. Personally, Upwork is what enabled me to quit my job and become my own boss at least in the beginning. While I was building this YouTube channel and my financial education business, I was freelancing on Upwork as a bookkeeper. I had skills and experience from my previous job working at a real estate investment company, and I leveraged that experience and my accounting skills to start getting clients right away on Upwork. So within a month of putting up my profile on Upwork, I made $800 for my first client. What's good about these online marketplaces is that they already have a pool of clients out there that are looking for your services. You don't have to start from scratch and you don't have to find clients out of nowhere because that can be really hard to do. You can just put up a profile and start getting found in the Upwork search engine. You can also make proposals on people's job postings and be more proactive. And it's all just a very well-run platform. Now, maybe you're thinking, that sounds great, Rose, but I don't have any skills that people would pay me for. Think again. Chances are you know how to do something that comes so easily to you that you just totally take it for granted. For example, maybe you work in finance, so you're really handy with Excel spreadsheets. Look, there are job postings on Upwork where people are looking for someone to build a financial model or do some Excel formatting, and they're paying money for it. Maybe you're really good at answering emails and just being efficient. Yeah, that's a skill. There are so many people looking for virtual assistants to help them manage their inbox, calendars, travel schedules, and keep them organized. Maybe your skill is that you speak another language. Upwork has a ton of job postings looking for documents to be translated from one language to another. So just think about what kind of skills you have and then just start browsing around to see what the going hourly rate is for that skill. Now Upwork is a good place to find long-term ongoing freelance work that eventually could turn into a long-standing business relationship where you take those clients off of Upwork and start working with them on Retainer, which is exactly what I did. Now Fiverr is a platform that caters to a slightly different audience. Fiverr is more for small, quick, one-off, very specific tasks. For example, I use Fiverr a lot for little things here and there. I did some YouTube thumbnail graphic design. I hired someone to remove the background noise from my audio. And recently I paid someone to convert an, a PDF bank statement into an Excel spreadsheet. I'm sure you have something you could offer. And there's a lot of ways to upsell, such as offering expedited delivery time. And often the clients will tip you. So you can actually make a good little side come from this. Think about it. All you do is some small $5 tasks if you can get five clients a day, then you're making $25 a day, which is $750 a month. And the best part, you are sitting in your PJs in bed while doing all of this. Now, if you're not a good fit for freelancing websites like Fiverr and Upwork, then maybe you'll like my next idea, online tutoring. On tutorme.com, you can get paid at least $16 an hour to tutor people online on everything from SAT test prep to foreign languages to electrical engineering. The application process is super quick. You just fill out some basic info about yourself, pick which subjects you want to teach, and then they'll start matching you up with students. Once you start making money, you'll get paid every week and the website handles all of the payment and marketing for you. They'll even provide you with a lesson space with a digital whiteboard and a video chat system and file sharing. 
so that all you have to do is literally show up and teach and start making money. My god, what world do we live in nowadays? It is so incredible what the internet enables us to do. I am very grateful. Now, if you're really passionate about teaching something, you could also consider creating your own course and selling it on an online course marketplace like udemy.com. It's definitely more ambitious and much more of a project than a tutoring gig and will probably take a lot of time before you start earning money from it. But once you create an online course, you can just sell it over and over and it'll become a source of passive income. All right, and since we're on the subject of passive income, that brings me to my next at-home money-making idea, which is to start a YouTube channel. Full disclosure, this option is not a way to make quick cash. It takes a lot of work up front and definitely isn't for anyone who needs money right now. However, if you stick with it, a good YouTube channel is an amazing source of passive income. Ever since I started monetizing the videos on my channel earlier this year, it started bringing in about $2,000 a month in passive income. Here's how it works. You start your YouTube channel and then you start posting videos. Then once you've accumulated a certain number of hours of watch time, in this case, it's 4,000 hours. That's what YouTube requires. And once you've hit 1,000 subscribers, then your channel qualifies to get monetized. Once your channel has qualified for monetization, you create an account with Google AdSense. And as you know, Google is the company that owns YouTube. And then you just link up your YouTube channel so that advertisers can start running ads on your videos. Then you go through a couple of steps to verify your information, such as your bank account information, mailing address, and then you're all set up to get paid. The payout cycle for your AdSense earnings is monthly. So any money you make in March gets paid in April and they pay it out around the 21st of the month. So March earnings get paid around April 21st. Also, if being on camera isn't your thing, Making money via ads on your content is a business model that you can replicate with other mediums besides video, like a blog or an Instagram page or even a podcast. The idea is that you create interesting and relevant content, whether it's in the form of video, text, or audio. You get eyeballs on your content or ears if it's a podcast, and then you can get advertisers to pay you to place ads on your content. The reason this is a hard business model to start making money from is because it takes time. It takes time to build an audience and you're probably going to have to do a lot of work for free before you ever get your first dollar. Just to give you an idea, I started this YouTube channel almost over a year ago and put up videos for a whole year before I ever saw my first YouTube paycheck. In fact, my channel didn't even qualify for monetization until late last year. However, if you stick with it and manage to get your channel off the ground, it's really cool when those dollar dollar bills start rolling in passively. So my recommendation for you is if there's a topic that you're really passionate about and you like the idea of making videos on that topic, then definitely consider starting a YouTube channel. Here is another passive at home money making idea, and that is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a way to earn commissions by promoting promoting other people's products. So you find a product that you like, you promote it to others, and you get a piece of the profit for every sale that you make. That's how affiliate marketing works. Probably the most popular way to start making money as an affiliate marketer is with Amazon affiliate links. So you go to the Amazon affiliate website, you create an account, and anyone can create an account, and then you can start generating personalized links to products that you like. Then if someone clicks on your link and buys, Amazon has a way of tracking that sale back to you and paying you a commission for it. For this to work, you do need to find a way to generate traffic to your affiliate links. You can do this by placing your links on your social media pages, on your website, a blog, or better yet, a YouTube channel, which is what I do. And here's an example. In this video, I was talking about my favorite personal finance books of all time. And because I was talking about books in the video, I put my personalized Amazon affiliate links in the description below the video. And then I told people to check them out if they were interested in reading those books. Amazon affiliate marketing has brought in over $500 for me just in the month of March. If you're passionate about electronics or food, there is definitely a way to start promoting Amazon affiliate links related to your area and hobby. Again, just like the YouTube channel, this is one of those money-making ideas that creates a lot of passive income down the road later on, but takes a little while to get off the ground. We might be stuck at home for at least a few more weeks, hopefully not months, but who knows, right? 
So might as well find some ways to earn more money while we're all here. We'll probably never have this much alone time again. Because when this is all over and we're no longer doing social distancing, life is just gonna get busy again. So if you've been looking to start a new side hustle or build a source of passive income, now is the perfect time to do it. And if you've been impacted financially by the crisis, I hope I've given you some ideas to make extra money to make it a little easier for you. So that's it for my at-home money-making tips. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I post new videos every Wednesday, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I would love to see you back here soon. Until then, wishing you and your loved ones a very healthy, connected, and happy week. I'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye!